When you're traveling uphill and shifting, push the RPMs past 1500 and shift at the normal speed. One, two. Think about what's happening when you shift on a hill. As soon as you clutch to neutral, the needle begins to fall and gravity tries to pull you down the hill, which makes the needle fall faster. By pushing the needle to 17 or 1800, you're giving yourself extra time to shift because the needle has a greater distance to drop. If you're traveling down a hill, shift early because gravity speeds up your vehicle when you clutch to neutral. Try shifting at 1100 to 1200 RPM when cruising down a hill. This happens because your brain assumes that the shifting process is complete when you move the shifter into gear. Your shift is actually finished when you release the clutch pedal for the second time at the end of your double clutch. When shifting, you clutch to neutral and then clutch to gear, and as soon as the shifter hits the gear, you release the clutch pedal. Well, if you release it too quickly and from too great a depth, the truck will jerk after every shift. Look at it this way. If you push the clutch pedal in 8 to 9 inches, you'll have to release the clutch pedal 8 to 9 inches. This causes the truck to jerk at the end of your shift. If you push the clutch pedal in just 2 to 3 inches during your double clutch, it will greatly improve the smoothness of your shifting. Pushing the clutch pedal in just 2 inches means you only have to release it 2 inches. That shorter distance keeps the truck from jerking. This is usually a coordination issue. Your brain hasn't yet processed the idea of pushing the clutch and moving the shifter at the same time. That's okay, try not to become frustrated. If you push the clutch in two times before you try to shift, you'll have a hard time moving the shifter to neutral. The proper way to double clutch is to depress the clutch pedal while moving the shifter. Your left leg and right hand should move at the same time. To help with your coordination, you can perform the same time drill in a stationary truck or any chair. When you're shifting, it's best to keep your hand on the shifter. Some students will shift to neutral and then briefly remove their hand from the shifter before trying to shift to their next gear. If you remove your hand, you'll have to put it back on the shifter and that will slow down your shift. If you shift too slow, the needle falls below the sweet spot and you have to rev the engine. Control the shifter during the shifting process, but try not to muscle it. You need to locate the hard walls and the soft wall while you're learning. Controlling the shifter while shifting will help you find your next gear. Rowing the shifter around in neutral can be confusing to students. This is another car habit that doesn't translate to trucks. When you're learning how to shift, you'll want to establish a rhythm or timing for every shift. If you clutch to neutral and then throw the shifter around, the needle is falling out of the sweet spot. When you miss your gear, you'll have to rev the engine to find it. Instead of throwing the shifter around in neutral, find the wall that's associated with your next gear and then move the shifter into that gear. The walls provide a path to the gears. 